folks, this is Bill Stern introducing you to the gentle art of wrestling. What's on the card, Professor? We now take pleasure in introducing to you the American Adonis weighing 200, George Beckett. His opponent, his opponent weighing 250, the Yep, that cute little butterfly shedding its cocoon is the masked horror, the octopus in person. 250 pounds of beef on the hook. His opponent's George Becker, the American Adonis, and he's no pushover either. Both at the peak of physical perfection. They have to be to take the punishment of the squared circle. Gripped in the tentacles of the octopus, the average man would fold like an accordion. They square off again. This preliminary routine is called, let's get acquainted. Another body clutch. Is George gonna sit this one out? Not today. When that guy tickles your ribs, they break. Take it easy, pal. We all gotta make a living. what did I ever do to you? Oh, take it easy. So, Georgie takes it easy, just like Grant took Richmond. He wants to take off that mask. The big fella can't see. Georgie says, never mind, this is a blind date. Georgie figures what the octopus doesn't know won't hurt him. He's groping for the ropes. A little more and he'll make it. When he does, I don't want to be the guy up back. gets a torturous toe hold that Georgie no like. He makes with a hand. Yeah, the sport that started way back in the old, old days as a classic art has come and gone a long, long way. Hey. Frankenstein is now having trouble with his facial. He might scare the kids with that puss, but not Little Red Riding Hood. He knows a wolf when he sees one. Hey, not so rough, chum. What do you think this is? Come on, let's be brother else. Oh, no? You want to play like Japs, eh? And at this point, our fall guys go to the mat. The horror slips the scissors on Georgie's head. Georgie slips out of that one and rolls into a beautiful arm lock. Pleasant-looking customer, isn't he? Come on, Georgie, you can get out of that. Now traffic is tied up. Yep, anything goes in this catch-as-catch-can game. And JoJo's strong arm technique puts them back in the center of the ring. Georgie seems a bit peeved. Maybe that last one wasn't in the script. Now Georgie gets the old Strangler Lewis hold, and Biffo, there's one to even things up. Hey, you guys, this is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a boxing bout. Oh, I was fouled. He can't do that. I'm a tax buyer. I got me rights. Okay. Okay. The boys agree that from now on, there'll be no more rough stuff and no hitting in the clinches. Well, uh, that is no hitting that the referee can see. That octopus is a tricky macro. Watch how he maneuvers his opponent away from the ref so he can get in his dirty work. See, Georgie? See how gentle I am? Look, mister, we're pals. Yeah, just like Hitler and Mussolini. Boy, oh boy, Georgie's seeing red, and I don't mean Cerise. He's got him against the ropes and going to town like Joe Lewis on a punching bag. Hey, wait, I was only fooling. Do I look like the kind of guy that would do you dirt? That, replies George, is strictly a matter of opinion. Now we're going to see some real action. Body slam to the canvas. Becker applies the excruciatingly painful arm stretch. The horror says, hey, buddy, that's stretching things too far. 
How you like, pal? Oh, you don't, eh? Now, isn't that just too bad? Georgie sure put his foot in it this time. We don't mean athlete's feet. If you see any false teeth shaking up, ha, you know who lost them. Roll it, big boy. That's the stuff. Right into a neat head system. You should have let well enough alone. Georgie applies the old-fashioned headache remedy. You'll love this. Ready, George? That's the idea. Once more, Georgie. Here, that's a swell way to cure a hangover. Second act of our little drama. Who does what to who? The bone benders are getting down to business. Here we see the expert application of the wrestler's classical art as demonstrated a spread toe hold. When a man's on his back, this is just about the toughest hold to break. Slowly, painfully, the octopus applies the pressure, and that's Georgie's cue from the kickoff. A little more Joe Lewis technique, and the octopus pays an unexpected call on his friends in the press box. Friends? Who said this guy had friends? He's a one-man blitzkrieg looking for some place to happen. Seriously, athletes like these have to be plenty tough. They have to take it and dish it out. Give them enough rope and they'll hang each other. See what I mean? Ah, Tarzan calling for his mate. Look out, champ. And that, my friends, is the Mickey Finn of wrestling. Sucko! The mass horror holds no terror for Georgie. Two can play at that rope trick. And Jojo really stuck his neck out on that one. Yep, the guy in the inner tube has had enough for once. He wants to play like the Axis partners. What's fair for him is foul for anybody else. Well, it's one fall to a finish. The octopus is out to wind things up in a hurry. Pardon, oh, my foot slipped. Looks like the octopus is going to murder him. But hold on, there's Pep in Georgie yet. He's slugging it out. You said it, out of the ring. <laughs> Vinegar Puss walks into a beauty. And Georgie hoists his full 250 pounds for a series of terrific body slams to the mat. No matter what we said before, these falls are strictly the McCoy. Octopus isn't mad now, it's a swell imitation. The Adonis is reeling, he's groggy. The octopus boots Georgie for a field goal and he's right back on the deck. Brother, say what you will. This is a heck of a way to earn a living. It can't last much longer. Georgie's getting the old swingaroo, a merry-go-round without the brass ring. And that, my friends, is wrestling. You can take it or leave it. Me? I'm leaving. This is where I came in.